Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is not the German Reich, but is M Mr. Mokalover. Let's continue playing as the United States of uh, America in our Hearts of Iron 4 Democracy Edition. I'm just looking at the terrifying axis that we will probably have to fight and a very disgusting Croatia as they are walloping the Soviets right now. Yeah, Soviets, guys, Stalin, that's not a good idea to claim the Straits right now. You are a little preoccupied with uh, losing your country. And you know what? I'm very surprised. I don't think they took the decision to like, give order 227 or whatever. So they get an increased 25% defense on core territory. I don't think they quite have that. But we'll see what happens in Europe. I really can't afford to have the Soviets fall. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens. But regardless, we will finish up the Peruvians this episode. I've already begun an attack, as you can see here. They're gonna they're gonna die. Even though they've been getting a lot more equipment and infrastructure lately. But whatever. So our goals, like before, are to slowly and continually invade these Japanese islands. Now obviously we have not found the main two Japanese strike forces here, but my god we will find them. And yes, I am playing with the latest patch, 1.6.1, which does show you Oh my I feel like I'm shouting almost. Uh, what ships are battleships? What ships are carriers? What ships are light cruisers? And which ships are heavy cruisers? Which I have one of here. Somewhere. Up here. Honestly, this is a very nice little minor quality of life. I can't really tell what these ships were. I've gotten so used to playing this game that I know CAs are heavy cruisers, CVs are carriers, CLs are light cruisers, DDs are destroyers. But for people who aren't as experienced, I suppose, as I am, or well attuned to it's a very nice quality of life addition also they did nerf apparently ooh, fuel production fuel production uh, when you had different uh, economies like, or I guess mobilization sizes right now we're gonna go straight for uh, uh, more manpower because we are only unlimited conscription we will need extensive conscription oh huh. I love these bonuses anyways was there a conscription in the United States? I think there was the selective service in the United States when we went to war in World War II. I believe there was. Let's see. Ooh, four, car oh, four carriers. Four convoys sunk. All right. Tell me, when are the Marines ready to go? Also, there was a bug where you already had the Marine research. You could already have Marines research as United States, but you didn't have the template, which was not very cool. But, yeah, uh, regardless. And they did, ma did make a few tweaks and nerfs. But let's go ahead and get extensive conscription. For example, one of the tweaks and nerfs in this latest patch was... Oh, let's go back over here. Wartime industry. So, no. It wasn't wartime industry. It was over here, actually. One of the latest tweaks was the tank destroyer doctrine. So you get 10% better production when making tank destroyers as well as tanks. Instead of 25%. Because 25% is almost... 5% faster, that's pretty darn good, not gonna lie. Alright, we will have a quite a quite an army here when we go to war with the Germans, because that'll be our second goal. So really our two goals in this entire campaign is to defeat the Japanese and to defeat the Axis. Now, the thing is that I'm not in the Allies, and I'm really surprised that the British have not fallen. My apologies. That the only way we can get to the Axis is for us to go through Japan, conquer them, puppet all of China, maybe into two separate states. Maybe a more right-leaning China and a more left-leaning China. Left-leaning? Left-leaning China. And then if the Axis does kill off the Comintern, we could fight in Siberia. Yeah, that sounds great. Fighting in Siberia sounds so great. Oh, nice. Oh, actually, that's not a bad trade. One destroyer for six enemy destroyers? Uh, yes, please. Patrols, yeah, you guys already got hurt. Actually, take that off. And just go ahead and heal when you need to. I don't want to split these guys off because some of these... Like this. A carrier, a heavy cruiser, and a light cruiser. Not looking so good for that. Ooh! We sunk another destroyer. Awesome. So you will not split off of anything you're doing. Task Force 11 needs a destroyer. Task Force 11... Uh, or a or a cruiser hull. 
light cruiser hull. I take that one off and go to task force 11. I don't want that carrier sunk. It'll take way too long to produce. Alright, any guys over here? Nope. Awesome. Alright, three convoys and... Okay, Marines, you ready to go? Ready to go! Yes, we have enough. Uh, we're trying to take all these islands and we'll just be doing this the, pretty much the entire time. Conquering every single island that we can with naval superiority. And then I actually probably should have made more garrison brigades. Make it up to 10. And I don't want to forget Peru. No, no, no. Forgetting Peru was how we got ourselves into this mess last time. Uh, take everyone but the tank, actually. Keep beating them down. Nope, that's not working. Alright then. Now take the tank. Wow, these guys are strong. Holy crap. They actually finally learned how to do well. Alright. Alright. Naval Bombers. Ooh, Naval Bomber 2. Oh, that's really good. Heavy Fighters. I'm going to need to put you over here. I believe it was... The... I'm just going to do that. Yeah, that would be a little easier than me selecting which one of these general groups was it. Because you guys are just hanging out, dying of sur lack of supplies here. Uh, you were part of which theater? You were really part of this theater. Hmm. Go ahead. Reattach yourself. I should be okay. Just walk up through Mexico. Oh, you can't do that. You can't walk up through there because we're not with Guatemala. Just come to Florida then. That'll be fine with me. All right. So then that means that leaves you there. We will put you on station with him. And hopefully you guys will do well. Yeah, you guys are not doing very well right now. We're going to need some close air support or something here. Twenty. Oh, did that go up? Maybe? No, probably not. Yeah, they're they're pretty darn entrenched into the into Lima. Oh, it's paused. Ah, uh, that's why we're not winning. Okay, understandable. Uh, go on the left side here. Oh my gosh. Oh, a Japanese carrier hull, huh? All right, so we lost two planes, but we did sink a convoy. And then five more convoys. And then three more convoys. And lost another plane. The Marines did great. They did very great. Go ahead and come up here, and then we'll basically readjust ourselves. So you will come from here. Invade here. I want you to invade from here. And then invade over yonder to... Actually, down here would probably be good. And then, once you finish, we will send you somewhere else. From Tarawa to there. And pretty much go when you can. I don't think there's really too many Japanese forces around here, so... Not too concerned. Let's see. Seattle Division. Good. Got a lot of manpower. Some manpower. Oh, oh. That's a lot of manpower. How are we going to beat these guys up? Uh, put some extra ground crews here if you can. Let's see. Ooh. Uh oh. So we lost a destroyer in exchange for a heavy cruiser. 1940s des destroyer against a 1936 heavy cruiser. Alright, well. You win some, you lose some. Alright. Shut down a plane. Lost a two. Lost a plane. No, I lost a convoy in that one. Lost a plane. Sunk two convoys. The, yeah, the Japanese, I'll let you know, are actually out of convoys at this point. So every convoy we sink is really damaging to the Japanese war capabilities. Can I Ah, uh, they're not my puppet. I can't add anything over here. That sucks. Tanks. Well, we're... Like, they're doing okay. They're not great. Like, I just want everyone to take a province. I want to take at least one province here. Like, this is ridiculous. So much defense, but why? I mean, they're going to run out of manpower eventually. Oh, we're winning? Oh, come on, win this, guys. You got this, you got this. Alright, so we lost a plane. This is our force here against a couple of Japanese planes. Oh my gosh. 
Now that's three more destroyers sunk. Awesome. And another destroyer sunk. Yeah, where are we on all these heavy fighters? I have to have more heavy fighters than this. 20? 25 is more like it. Let's see. Alright. You guys come over here. And none over there. Good. Uh, actually, I have so many divisions already. And I need someone to garrison all this stuff. Oh, you're over there. Just go ahead and throw them on coast and defense. 16. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, do all those islands. Do this island. Pretty much do all these islands for the most part. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, yeah, do that island as well. We need 20 divisions so far. We will need these islands. We need all these islands, basically. I don't want to do these yet, just because we'll, that means we will have to invade them. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad. I will have to guard the coasts, though, of the United States. 29. That's not bad for now. Let's do that. I'm probably going to lose a few divisions, but whatever. Nice. Shut down three enemy planes. Lost a plane. Lost a plane. Lost a plane. Oh, right. Come on, man. Throw another division in there if you have to. Oh, v fighter veteran initiative. So we get more agility for the heavy fighters. Very good. 1943, naval. Oh, yes. Naval strike torpedo tactics. More naval mission efficiency. Awesome. Soviets are still holding out. That's good. Very good. Alright. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure why you're doing that up there. Just stay down here if you can. Oh, wait. You're the Task Patro Pacific Patrol Fleet. Oh, that's a nice picture. That's a very nice picture. Huh. More war support that we don't need. Yeah, I don't want to really put my guys over here. Just because... And this is patrolling. Just because they have a lot of planes, I bet. We do have some heavy fighters coming. Let's go ahead and put them in. And I will tell you to do this, but I will not give you orders to actively do air combat yet. Naval Doctrine, of course, is done. Air, 1943 stuff. We could get fighters ahead of time. Infantry, heart attack, and piercing. Let's get land, night attack. That might help us out in Peru. Good, good, good. Alright. And then one on that side. Come on, guys, please. We did it. We actually took it. But they have decided to strike against us because of that. You're, you're attacking? Could I do any damage using my tanks now? Okay, then. So the tank retreated. We got the infantry over here. Are you not attacking either? Probably a bad idea to do this. Probably a terrible idea, actually, to do this. Ah, uh, they got four divisions. My gosh, they're so strong. I hate mountains so much. Uh, ooh. 50 more representatives might support us. Yeah, they got a ton of manpower. As long as I can take Lima. That's really what I want. So let's go and reorganize our tanks. I just want Lima. Lima, Peru. And casualties. Ooh. Four lost. Wow. Oh, even more lost. It's not good. And Marines. Uh, Marines, there you are. Why are they not going? Well, I'm going to reor reorganize this then. Uh, actually, no. I want one at a time. So you'll come from here and invade over here. Then you invade from here, over to here. And we're going to avoid this area for now. And then we will come from here and invade this island. Easy, right? Five days in total needed. Well, using this, we can do this in four days. Three, and just go when you can. Yeah, we're losing quite a few naval bombers here now. Holy cow. Two more, one more. Shut down a plane, that's good. I need some more. Ooh. 
What is this? Task force? Ah, oh, you're repairing. That's fine. Actually, I could probably use an airbase down here. Actually, some radar would help. We had to build a munitions factory as well in Oklahoma, which we've already done. We can develop a lot of more resources. Could get some more house support. Amend the budget, which we don't really need. Research speed. Uh, I mean, we're researching pretty well ahead of time. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's let's give some research grants out. Why not? Let's see over here. All right, and then probably some over here. Yep. Oops, my bad. Over there. So the tanks have realigned themselves. Ooh, Lucian Trust got nothing here. All right. If we all just attack, we probably wouldn't be able to win. Give the tanks an extra little boost. Nope, we're not winning. God dang it. How is it so incredibly strong? I need Mountaineers for this. Let's see. Do I have any Mountaineer divisions? Division designer. I guess I haven't made any Mountaineers. Hmm. Go figure. Go figure. U.S. Army Air Force. Very nice. Bonus of land doc air doctrine. Uh, bonuses. Louisiana maneuvers. Let's support Rock Island. I haven't done anything for my army units yet, so. Come on. I shouldn't have to click hole. I should just click on the province and it'll be done. Immediately. Should be. But it is not like that. Can we take this guy out? No? Are you kidding me? How do... How can we not see what divisions you have? God, just give me, give me your country, Ecuador. God dang it. That's a bunch of crap. For nothing. I'm going to throw you on to this guy. And this group is doing nothing as well, so I'm going to throw you over here as well. Go ahead and leave. Uh, very good. Get some more piercing, maybe? That I don't think that would really help, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so how have the Marines done? Oh. Three Japanese convoys, three Japanese convoys, three more Japanese convoys. That's a lot of Japanese convoys. Oh, do we just see a navy here? We might have just seen a navy. I clicked too fast. Oh, no. Awesome. They did very well. And now, more coast and defense. I think, yeah, I already clicked you guys. Everything here is already clicked. Ah, there's the airbase. We need to take that airbase out. Pretty much immediately. I want you. Since you're already here, hopefully you can do this. Eh, that's fine, you can do that. You all you all like going from the same base to do naval invasions. That's okay, I suppose. And then you come to Kwajalian. And just go ahead when you can. It takes only four days to do so. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Convoy? Th oh, here's a Japanese fleet. Yeah. Some of their lightly damaged ships. Okay. Lost five planes in exchange for a convoy. Another of that and oh we sunk a heavy cruiser awesome seems like we're finding a lot of things in this part of the sea so we're gonna add oh 200 more naval bombers or so to ha have a good time with the japanese navy that is around as well as ooh, heavy fighters yeah we definitely need more heavy fighters another 100 naval bombers this area just see if they have anything of interest oh Nice. Shot down a plane because of our convoys, which should be traveling. Some of these guys should be traveling. Oh, they're traveling to engage the enemy. Very good. Oh, what are they? Are they trying to navally invade me or something? Because there's so many convoys here. Two, three, two. And then this is another two. I'm just quickly click through these three, and then another three. Another one. Lost a plane. And then... Put down another enemy plane, two more convoys, another two convoys. Jesus Christ, Japan. What's going on? Just more and more convoys. So much raiding of the subs. Hmm. This is a problem. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice. Let's hope you live quite a while. Opposition suffers defeat in Senate. Well, something tells me I'm okay with them, even them not doing well. I mean, I already have maxed out Senate support. It's a little OP, not gonna lie, but that's okay. Any heavy fighters? Yes. 
I have to have heavy fighters. I mean, that's pretty much the way we're only going to win here in Peru. Or against Peru, because it just we can't do anything. We really can't do anything here. Can't do anything over here, maybe? They only have three divisions instead of the usual four that we find. Give our infantry a little bit more attack, perhaps. Can I put anything more on my infantry divisions? Support anti-air and support anti-tank. Well, I prefer field hospitals, but we might not get to those yet. All right. Oh, nice. Shock and awe is done. More infantry soft attack, hard attack, and artillery soft attack, and hard attack as well. And we are now done with our land doctrine. Three armor. Yeah, let's go with armor since we are. I don't want to make outdated tanks. Ooh, nice. Holy crap, we found the Japanese fleet, and we sunk a Japanese con carrier, a Japanese light cruiser, and two convoys in exchange for four planes. That's really worth it. And we sunk two more light cruisers. And a heavy cruiser, and a destroyer. Oh my gosh, a destroyer? Another ca Two carriers! Two carriers and a destroyer. And another heavy cruiser, and two more convoys. Jesus Christ, Japan, you're losing ships like crazy now. Three sunk, three sunk, four sunk, three sunk, one sunk, one more sunk, lost three planes. I'm doing a very good job in the waters now. And you thought my naval ideas of of how I organized my navy was such a bad idea. Just kidding, I don't know if you did or not. It doesn't really matter. Actually, just, just walk over there, please. You can come from here, though. Take out that air base. You can come from wherever you're at, over here. Go ahead when you can. I'm going to leave that other one to take out that island as we continue to look at lots of convoy raiding. How many ships does Japan actually have now? The Manchurian Project, huh? N less than 100 ships. They have less than 100 ships. That's so good. That's really the biggest obstacle to us. So we've lost a total of 111 ships. That's not bad, actually. Compared to the Almost 900 ships Japan has lost. Oh my gosh. Some would say, oh my giddily aunt. But, another destroyer lost. Ah, oh, it's just another three Japanese convoys. Not what are the casualty rates for this? I mean, Japan. Over 2 million killed. 1.3 by me alone. I mean, I've lost half a million, but that's mostly to South America. And a little bit of Japan. <gasps> we surrounded Lima. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Ah, oh, crap. This is not This is not good right now. In terms of division organization. These guys don't have a port. So you guys might be able to... Actually come down here... And stress about the evils of what they're doing. You guys do this. Keep these guys, like, locked here. So that we can go ahead and maybe push these guys out. Eh, actually, you four divisions help take out Lima. Oh, wow, that didn't really work out very well. These guys should be starving, though. They have to be starving for supplies. There's no... They have no naval uh, naval base. They should be starving for supplies. All right. Send in the tank to help out. Drain them of their resources. Uh, can you do anything here? Lucian Trust got wounded. Yeah, it looks like they are not healing up. Multiple combats. They have low supply, which is very good. So, it'll just, it's just a matter of time now before we kill off the Peruvians. Oh my gosh, we lost two, three destroyers in exchange for two light cruisers and five destroyers. Holy. Another light cruiser, two planes in exchange for eight convoys. A, another destroyer. Oh my gosh. Oh, so good. All right. Uh, let's see. And last but not least. Man, these marines are getting a lot of good experience, in my opinion, about how to navally invade areas. You guys, you come down here, you invade this island. Is there any other island around here that's Japanese? No, that's free France. No. So we are actually pushing up pretty darn well. I don't really want to invade this area, since we're not really allied with Australia. But any damage we can do over here will ultimately help Australia take back Japanese islands. Actually, I might take out this group here, maybe. We'll see what happens. I just want to get most of their islands under control. That's really what I want. And we'll evade from there. I guess over here, because that's our next stop. Strike force. Do patrols. You know what? We'll
And uh, my strike force, Atlantic strike force, needs some repairs. But only my carriers need repairs, which is kind of surprising. Only carriers need repairs. I thought my destroyers might need some repairs, but whatever. So finish those two up first. And then we will move on to the Bismarck Sea, and then move over to the Philippine Sea to take out this airbase, and then come back to the Mar Mariana region. Early destroyer hole, Mariana hole. Awesome. Oh, another plane sunk. And, you know what? I hate using these guys, but you guys have enough range for me to really get most of the islands. Wait, you're over here, but you're not even within your own operating base. Sphere of influence. Wow. Okay, then. So be it. Tactical bombers. Oh, we got some more tactical bombers. That's good. Over here, we want... As much as I want naval bombers, tactical bombers have the range that I want. They've got very good range. That should definitely help help us definitely over here. Um, actually, over here, we have enough range. We could do, or at least could put, another 100 of these guys doing this in the Philippine Sea. This gives us even more coverage. And was this something over here? Oh, whatever. Come on, Peru. Oh, they're trying to break out, and we are winning against them, and they are not doing so well. Ah, Peru, you shouldn't have messed with America. Even though you may, might win a lot of battles, you really shouldn't have messed with America. Oh, someone's attacking. We might as well help support, right? They have five divisions that are holding out so freaking well. Ugh, terrible. And they're apparently getting more manpower. But they have fewer divisions, at least, it looks like. Base pilot promoted. Very nice. Are you moving? Yeah, don't. Don't leave that area. That's not a good idea, guys. Can't really afford you to leave that area. And we lost two planes over there. I knew there was... I knew there were ships over here. We have not really bombed that area yet. Uh, two more destroyers sunk. Another destroyer sunk. Another destroyer sunk. And maybe another destroyer sunk. The Japanese are continually invading these East Indies. And they're being mostly successful. But... As we continue to destroy enemy planes, ships, and the like thereof, there won't be very much of the enemy left. Also, uh, yeah, you guys should be coming down here very soon. I-43, I really could use more guys? Are you in the water yet, guys? Or are y'all just kind of hanging out? Like, seriously, man, I got... Tons of places where I could use you. Well, hopefully they'll come over. So, that means... Now... I don't have any more heavy... F oh, I do have a few heavy fighters. Go ahead and put them in. I definitely will have to have these guys. Level them up to 100. And even though the range isn't very good, we st I need still need to take these two spots. So... And with that in mind... We Because I need two places, both these areas, to be ready to go for naval invasions. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and try to invade this area as well as... Oh! Did they just navally invade me? No. 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 Maybe I didn't take that yet. Alright, so they still have a group over here. And this is why I need my guys to help station the islands. Like, for real, guys. Where are you? Your coasts and defense, but I don't see any movement over here. Please? Please, guys? Seriously, is anyone moving? This is pathetic. No, a lot of you guys aren't even added to this. What the heck? Hold on. Let's just go ahead. Ugh, I don't want to do this. But I have to do that. Let's pause it. Let's do all the coasts. That's good. Now we have to redo all these islands here because the AI was, I think, maybe derping up, screwing up. That'll be good. The Marines came back. That's good. We'll do that island. Uh, I don't know if that's ours or not, but we'll do it anyways. Um, yeah, these guys as well. All right, I think we have everything. Never mind. I lied. Even though we do have a couple of guys over here still from when I told them to be over here. Oh, yeah, and the Philippines as well. Oh, that's stupid. But whatever. Things happen. Alright. Oh. That's better. 
two destroyers sunk. Oh, we sunk a battleship, as well as a destroyer, and then sunk another destroyer and two more destroyers. I missed something here. I'm short. We got that one. We got that one. What about Hawaii? Oh, it was over here. I'm not really worried about this part of the coast, so... Uh, and Alaska. Yeah, cool. Oh, nice. Three more convoys. Another destroyer. Uh-oh, what happened over here? We lost a destroyer in exchange for a, a single Japanese battleship. Okay. Other than that, these guys look pretty darn good. What is this? Oh, I don't know what that button does. Okay. What? Well, regardless, I will need all three of you divisions to invade over here. So come on back, and hopefully we have enough guys to help us out. You know, what? I'm just going to go ahead and add you to this group. I'm going to cut you down to the garrison brigade. So go ahead and do that. And then come here. That guy needs an extra guy on him. Uh, we still can't take Lima. My gosh. Good God. But we're slumming up this place pretty darn awesome. Awesome. That's really good. So this should be done soon. Peru will be done by the time I end this episode. I swear to you. It will be done. Alright. Send in the tanks again. How, how thick are these tanks? They're only 20. Oh, no wonder they're losing. They're only 20 combat width. Oh, we got some more political power. Can I do anything anything here first? War bonds, region-wide stuff. Do I need more supplies? Chromium and rubber. But that's, that's, I always need chromium and rubber. Let's do that. Two more divisions. Throw them over here. Nice. One last spot for these guys. That we will should be able to take out very soon and then surround Lima and then destroy it. Oh, support Rock Island. Awesome. Uh, tank experiments. Let's see. More population. Women's Armed Service Integration Act. I want main battle tanks. Let's go with that. Armor technology first. Which will help us get modern armor very soon. Those guys were defeated, destroyed, and Peru has lost over a million soldiers. How, does, how do you like that, Peru? You've lost over a million boys. It's all because of your doing. I really hope I have space here now. Oh, thank God. That I could put nuclear reactors. Uh, definitely New Mexico, Arizona, and this area. Because no one would ever think to blow up nuclear bombs in the desert. And then... Eh, it's only 377 days away. We can do that. Oh, we have air superiority. Finally, thank God. Thank the Lord. Everyone, and you guys. Please, just kill these guys off. And we're probably not going to win this battle. Oh, maybe we will. Maybe we will. We have absolute air superiority, even though Lucian Truscott is kind of injured. Or, should I say, wounded. Before we keep moving on, as we will probably win the battle in Peru. Uh, where are we? Oh, God. We've lost a couple more planes, a couple more planes. Go ahead and invade, since you guys look pretty good overall. My Marines, what is your template? 40 width? With... You need some field hospitals. You have to have field hospitals for Marines. Nice. Okay, so apparently their divisions that were over here left. Oh, and they came over here. Okay, then. So I want all of you over here. And by that, I want you to invade from here to here. I want you to invade from here to there. I know I could have just done both of them at the same time, but whatever. And then I want you to invade from here to here. That'll be good. And now I can almost switch over my guys over to this side. Peru House will support me more. Ah, uh, gotta love it. Naval strikes for pewing. Very good. They still have convoys around here. And where the hell are my thingy mabobs? Come on, boys. I need more of you over here. There's way too many naval bases that are unprotected without you over here. But regardless, strategic bombing visibility, that's alright. So. We will end our episodes here. We've done a very, very good job in my opinion. I told you we would finish up Peru before we were done here today. And I have kept my promise to you. So with that in mind, with Peru gone, I will figure out what I'll do with more of these divisions. We will continue to take more islands in the next video. 
as we see how many ships Japan now has been left with. Less than 70, and less than 500 convoys. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Ooh, nice. Subscribe if you're new here. Oh! <gasps> and we're going to end this episode with the sinking of the Japanese... The pride of the Japanese fleet. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.